Sometimes life's confusing, isn't it? Turns out simple things like nature are really complicated. Full of things like biodiversity and ecosystems and stuff. Biodiversity is a pretty neat idea. In a nutshell, it's all life on Earth. Simple. And, you know, not just cute animals you see in nature films or in more sophisticated animations by Disney. It's all life, including me and you. Hang on a minute, this is weird. Hello? Hel oh. What's that? Oh, it's the the lesser spotted bugle beard? I have no idea what that is. Oh! Ow! That's surprisingly heavy, given that it's, you know, cartoon. Now, this spider may look um, pretty small, but it sits at the middle of a huge web of life. Web of life, a little pun for you. And that web of life makes up an ecosystem. You've got your forests. Ding dong, there you are. You've got your mountains. All right. You've... I don't know what that is. What is that? Wave? Coral reef. That's a coral reef. That's a coral reef. you got them. Got your ice caps. Be good if this was in 3D, wouldn't it? That's all the rage. Now, the great thing about ecosystems is they give us everything we need. Food, water, shelter, medicine. <laughs> that... Mm. Sorry, I've, mm, shouldn't have eaten that. And they create jobs and trade worth trillions of dollars a year. Not only that, but ecosystems do even more important stuff, like regulate the climate. Sorry, should, can we stop for a second? Is this, is this following me? What's going on here? Oh, I see, no, because it plays a big part as well. Yeah, no, it, sorry, it pollinates the crops and everything. My fault, sorry, let's carry on. Okay, we've had some laughs. Here's the bad news. There was bound to be bad news, here it is. All this human activity not only relies on nature, but damages it as well. The bigger the footprint, the bigger the problem. Oh, sorry, sorry, ah, that, sorry, my, it's my fault. Way, that's, uh, whoa, feeling good, looking good. For 40 years, we've been using natural resources so fast they can't be replaced. And that means biodiversity has gone down by about a third. While at the same time, our footprint, no, sorry, not that one, the uh, ecological footprint. It is confusing. Our footprint is twice as big. So, it turns out we now need the resources of one and a half planets to live. And if we carry on like this, in 20 years' time, we'll need two entire planets of resources. And we're not going to get another planet anytime soon. Whoa. Sooner or later, we're going to go bust. Big time. Oh, oh, ah, that's more painful than you'd think. For a two-dimensional stick man. Ah, ah, it's, oh, yeah. Trouble is, it's all take, take, take with us humans. Yeah, you see, just take that tree, take this little boy's net, thank you. And all this taking messes up the ecosystems and messes up the climate. Oh, look at the size of that. Beauty. And in turn, this messes up that neat biodiversity thing we're all part of. And this can be pretty bad news for things like our friends, the bees. No, oh, that's a shame, I quite liked him. I mean, it was annoying, but, you know, it's fun. And not just the bees. Oh, look, it's fine, it's okay. It's all right, calm down, don't panic. It means we're actually messing up our own health, wealth, and happiness. And before long, we've got a pretty big problem. In fact, to be honest with you, we've already got a pretty big problem. Hmm, you see? I don't think any of us signed up for that. Not good. You're probably feeling a little bit depressed now, but the funny thing is, I'm not. In fact, I am pretty happy. Because putting it right isn't that difficult, really. In fact, it's, it's pretty much dead simple. Look after the planet, and it will look after us. All of us, me, you, and our lovable, if slightly annoying friend, the bee. Ah, you little, you, ah. <laughs> Thought it was gonna get in the car, did it? Nah, on the old bike. Clever. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba.